Hey guys, this is Mark with Apple Tech 128 and in this video I want to show you the difference between gold mount and V mount and seeing which one might actually be the better option for your next production and battery purchase. So the first and biggest difference between these batteries are obviously the mounts. On a gold mount we have three gold pins that are all throughout the back of the battery as well as a little pin connection on this protruding area. These three pins are mainly to line up the battery and then all the power is distributed through these pins right here. And this makes it so you can't just drop it right on. You actually have to slide it in it to the side and you have to actually line up the three pins in the hole first. And the distance you can line them up is actually fairly short. So you kind of have to look at where you want to go before you put it in place. Now, V-mount, on the other hand, has a V-shaped port, and this is actually what is going to go ahead and clip onto the back of your camera. This does not have anything to do with connections. You have a bunch of pins right here on the bottom, and that is where it interfaces. That's where it charges. Um, you can discharge it through there. That's where everything happens on the battery. So this one does not install from the side. This one, you just drop it right on. It's a lot easier and simpler to um, install. To remove your V-mount battery, there's a button on the side and you press that and you slide the battery right up and off. On a gold mount, on the other hand, there is a little tab that you have to push down and then you have to pull this off to the side and then pull it out. It's a little bit harder to install and uninstall, but it could be a little more secure for some because of these stronger connections. Another difference worth mentioning is that your brands are very limited on gold mount, where there's a ton of them for V-mount. Really, Anton Bauer is one of the only brands that make gold mount batteries. And because they're the only ones that make them, they're fairly expensive. There's a ton of brands for V-mount batteries, and they're not as expensive. This battery is probably around $200, where this one is $350, $400. They're very similar in capacity. This one is 91 watt hours. This is 95 watt hours. So you can get about the same runtime off of these, but this one is nearly double the price. But this does have a couple of features that this one does not. We do have a little display that shows you your running time left on your battery based on the camera you're using, where this one only has a button on the side to check the power. Now, there are tons of V-mount batteries out there, like I said, and you can get ones with just LEDs, or you can get a whole screen. And depending on the camera and battery you're using, the V-mount battery can also pass battery percentage to the camera. You can also do it on certain gold mount batteries as well, but it's more common on V-mount. And another thing I wanna talk about is the shape of them. V-mount batteries are typically very thin, but tall. So you can keep a slender profile, but it does get a little bit higher. And if you are using a top handle on your camera, it may be a little bit harder since these do raise up higher than some other batteries, more specifically this one. It is very heavy, extremely heavy, and more so than the V-mount option. So if you're looking for a lighter option, this one is the way to go. But it's um, very short, but it's kind of chunky. And again, it is super heavy. So it all depends what type of rig do you want to build a light one with a thin battery, or maybe you want to actually build it out instead of up. You don't care about weight, then maybe a gold mount would be a good option. But again, like I said, there are tons of options for V-mounts. You can get them in different shapes as well. And really this is the more well-rounded option to get. V-mount works on cameras, on lights, you can use it on pretty much anything, and it's more of a common option. You can put it on back of a monitor. Again, there are mounts for V-mount, but these are the most common option. If you're going to be buying an LED light, usually you're going to see either an NPF, Sony NPF, or a V-mount battery option. Not usually gold mount, so these are more common, they're cheaper, and personally, these are the ones that I prefer. But it's up to you. Hope this video helped you out. If you have any questions, let me know. If you like this video, leave a like and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. This is Mark with iApple Tech 128 and I'll see you in the next one.